We want to talk about the street fight coming up in Revolution, but before we see what this is about, because Stain has harsh words for Team Taz. You have to defend the TNT Championship against the bad boy Joey Janela. Yo, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold on a second. See, let me explain to you people what's going on. Team Taz, we're stuck outside the building like a bunch of jabronis. We're not allowed in the building, and it cost us a pretty penny. A pretty penny because Team Taz decided to take out some staffers last week. So we're getting punished. Hey, Darby Allen, you're defending that pretty, gorgeous TNT championship next week, like Shivani said, against Janela. Well, we, Team Taz, will be in full effect next week, watching closely. And we'll be keeping a real good eye on you. That's all you do. We might even get up close because to you never that right confront side. them. You always you go know, to the top of the ramp. Doesn't matter. Here comes so there, Ricky Steve. Starks, Ronnie Starks, we were in the Reggie building, Starks, whatever his name is, talking eyes, tough. I tell you to your face that I don't think that you're the same man from the past. He's probably the better talker than the, the other ones. I don't even know if they able to cut a promo. And like I said before, and I'll say it again, especially when you're dealing with Darby Allen, you will get hurt playing in the jungle and as for you darby well all i have to say is good luck next week man because uh you're definitely gonna need it i guarantee it come on hit him sting hit him by this thing okay team taz you say that you're going to be here next week for Darby's title match, and I got to let you know, I'm going to be here as well, and I'm going to make it, make sure that it's just a one-on-one -on -one match, and that's it. It's not going to be Darby against his opponent and everyone else in the world underneath Taz. That ain't happening. Not on my watch. That's first and foremost. Secondly, Ricky, you say that when you look into the Stinger's eyes, you don't see the icon anymore. Maybe you need to take a closer look. Very intense. He starts be talking. Crap. From the Stinger. The guy, what has the guy done? What has he done in this in this in this uh, company? chance of things getting dirty before that I mean the only reason why why Ricky Starks talks is because the other ones can't can any of them cut a promo ah we heard uh we heard a uh, hook uh Taz's son talk a little bit all uh Brian Cage is a muscle head and then powerhouse Hobbs is this a guy who, who likes to botch a lot. Remember that when uh, they they were double teaming? Who was that they were double teaming? I forget. And then Taz gave him the belt. And I think he wanted him to hit the guy with the belt. But this the guy just powerhouse Hobbs just shows the belt. To the guy. <laughs> and was he supposed to hit him? I think he was. And then I think you kind of see the frustration in Taz. But uh, again, they're talking about oh yeah we were locked out here. Oh you know just like that. So what? If you would have been in the building, you guys would have been like, you would have hightailed it to the uh, top of the ramp again. Like you guys always do. You talk about, you're going to take it to them, you're going to beat them up, and you're going to leave them laying and all that stuff uh, in the street fight. Okay, really? I had to see that. I had to see you try that. Like, really? <laughs> it's like, you know, I, I always watch these videos cold. I don't ever watch. Uh, you know, Dynamite for a speech uh, break. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. I know it came out Wednesday, but being very busy as I am, I don't get away. I don't really get to CAW just yet. You know, I got other things I watch. But um, every time it's just like Sting and Darby are calm, cool, collected. They get in their uh, promos, they get in what they want to say. And then Team Taz is huffing and puffing, especially Taz. Ricky Starks, all mumbling and bumbling. Like, really, you're gonna say that Sting isn't the uh, 
the old sting or you can he doesn't see the, that sting anymore yeah he may be 60 what 62 yeah he's not all his ages but that guy still can go he's still he's still tough as you know what to quote the great jr as tough as a two dollar steak right but uh am i looking forward to it? i just i just want to see what sting and how sting does in that street fight i'm not interested in the match it's, but I just want to see how Sting does. And then from that point, maybe he could do another match. Maybe a couple more. Who knows? You know. It's just something that he's got to pretty much prove. You know, that he still got it. That he can still go. It's a street fight. So anything goes. He can have his bat with him. Maybe some other toys that he's going to bring out to take it to Team Taz. And Darby would just say one word. But he could tell he was inside he's just he's ready to go he's got to you know put the title on the line against uh joey janela okay we'll see what how that goes but uh that's my reaction to uh sting having some harsh words for team taz team taz doing the usual thing huffing and puffing but as soon as uh they get within a, a good distance between them and the, uh their uh targeted opponent they just hightail it and go to the back like they usually do. Come on, show me your toughness. Show me that you're tough at the street fight. Or what are you going to do? You're going to run to the back again? You're going to run away from them? You know, it's them against uh, Sting and Darby against uh, Starks and uh, Cage. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's my reaction. Uh, and for those of you who uh, stopped by and checked out this video, I appreciate it. And in closing, as always, take care.